Right, hi. Um, you might remember that I put some of this on my blog the other day. I'm kind of putting little books. I've got so many little offcuts like this. That I'm making um, two little books. This one will be for sale and one will be for me. So it's kind of divvying up one for you, one for me, one for you, one for me. So this is the one that's going to go in the shop eventually. But don't hold your breath because it'll take me weeks because I'm just fitting it in whenever. But today I just wanted to... Um, these are fabrics that I bought. I went to the Festival of Quilts last week. And these are, I bought half a metre. I was very restrained actually because I'd, I'd only bought three half metres of fabric. And it wasn't because I was being good. It was because I couldn't decide what I wanted. And these are the three that I bought. Um, so they just appealed to me. Years ago, if you've been following me for years, you'll know I wouldn't have considered buying anything like this. It was always about the white, and it's still about the white, but this has been creeping in. And in fact, I'm going to stitch some French knots down here in white, pink, and green. And the pink and green that I'm using seem to be my default colours at the moment. So I just thought I'd try and titivate this page a little bit on camera with you. Um, so I'm going to do alternate white, pink and green French knots just down the side here and then that'll be a page and it doesn't have to be a complicated process so I need to pink and green and white for that one so if I do all the white first it shouldn't technically take me too long although I am conscious of time when I make these videos for my blog because I'd hate to be responsible pink and green and white for sending the world to sleep so we'll just see and then hopefully well even if I don't finish it um, you'll get a sense because I will put some of the pink and green in and what you see but if I'm quick enough pink, green, white and I know when I put these holes in that I'm not going to have a three at the bottom at least I don't think I am the way I counted I'm sure I'm one hole short pink and green but I'm not going to tell the uh, French knot police if you're not so that won't matter so and you may have seen my little uh, thing last week as well it was, and there was a picture on my blog pink and green of these fabrics with a box of needles that I bought um, somebody asked me what the difference was with the needles. Well, there are different size needles within that box, different kinds of needles. But I've heard, and I can't vouch for it yet because I haven't destroyed the packaging yet. I haven't opened them to use them yet, pink and green and white. Um, but I'm told that they're superior quality sewing needles. They're finished in such a way, polished in such a way, that you have a. They glide through the cloth. Apparently, pink and green, white. So yeah, I'm going to be one shot at the bottom for a green, but never mind, hey ho. And I don't want to put one in because I don't want to extend this beyond the bottom of the fabrics because that would throw it out of balance. So that's all the white ones done. Now this is the back, obviously, of the page, which will be visible in the book. I could put something over it to hide it, or I could leave it, and I'm occasionally, ah, Stop stabbing yourself, Karen. I'm occasionally minded to leave them because I like to see... I don't want to get blood on this. I like to see the workings on the back. Um, it's evidence that I was there, that I was... Once you've done your first row, it can be hard to find the hole for the next one. That's it. Pink. So hopefully we'll have a pretty little page. Oh. Next one. So simple. It's so effective. So a little composition to brighten up a piece of white card. So maybe you can all go up and do this. 
I know you're not in my class, but maybe I could set you some homework. Make 12 of these before Saturday. And keep you out of trouble. It's so pretty. I mean, these might not be your colours. You might think you would never buy this fabric in a month of Sundays, but you can do it with any fabric, with any pattern, with any colour. You know? Oh, I love it. And that's the main thing. So one more pink to do. And then just the green. And over in class, talking about the back of this. Over in our Stitch and Story group. We're all learning to embrace the back of pages and to incorporate them into our work, to love them and adore them as much as we adore the front. At least some of us are getting there, some of us are struggling with that a bit more than others, but right, so we do, which is fair enough, you know what I mean. We're all different. One, two, three. Very happy with this. And I want to move that. I keep getting a thread caught around that. Like, where's the hole? So I hope you think. Oh, I forgot my H. I hope you think it works. I hope you think, as a quick little exercise, the results are worth it. We're nearly there, and then you can see it. I mean, these colours don't match exactly what's going on on the fabric. Um, that's a whole different exercise completely. But they're of a similar mood, and they don't look terrible next to it. So that's the... Uh, so that's the main thing, I think. So I've got two more green to do. <coughs> Excuse me. One more. Oh, I think it's really worked. I think it's really a really pretty little page. Be nice in a children's book. Right, the fasten that off. And then turn it over for the big reveal. There. Yeah, definitely a worthwhile exercise. Really pretty. I like that a lot. 